We're going to take a few principles of leadership today and do a few exercises. On average, people are 31.2% of their talents are utilized by the worst leaders and 95.1% by the best. That's a triple difference just in this simple intuitive survey. Your job as a leader is to make your people outshine you. Does that make sense? Your job is not to outshine your direct reports. Your job is to get them to outshine you. I'm going to count to three and would you please clap on three. You ready? Clap on three, okay. One, two, three. <laughs> Too much to drink, that's what it was. <laughs> what do we follow? We follow what we see, not necessarily what people say. <laughs> if I had to ask anyone in the, in the audience, or one or two people, when you're trying to keep control, what do you think you're feeding inside yourself? What's creating that behavior and what are you feeding? Insecurity. So you're feeding your insecurity and fear and you're hoping if you get enough control and keep enough control, you'll be okay. What's it like living in someone's mind and heart like that for a day? Here's some interesting data for you again. Uh, uh, only 7% of people say their company is excellent at appreciating. 12% say they receive frequent appreciation for great work. 79% of people cite a lack of appreciation, the key reason for leaving their jobs. How much does it cost to give appreciation? This is a matter of interest, the dollars and cents of it. <laughs> it's free. So there's tons of data. We love data because we don't ask people to believe us just because we said so. So what the research is telling us is that the way your senior people around you are behaving is extremely significant on your engagement. That also has a significant impact on your well-being. So it turns out that if the organization's clear on their values but you're not clear on your values, you're less engaged than if you're just not clear on anything. Just because you live in a cave, it doesn't make you a geologist. Also equally, just because you have a senior position doesn't make you a leader. So leadership begins with a belief in yourself and it continues only if others believe in you. The data shows that, it, that if you have a leadership philosophy and you can clearly express it, you're 66% more trusted than if you can't. I grew up in a home where um, no praise was a sign that you were doing great. And if you did get praised, be careful because you might get lazy. So, you know, you've, you've got to keep on giving yourself that harsh you know, judgment and keep on moving because that's the secret to success and a broken psyche. It's a really good combination. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you.